Hi, Deirdre McNamara here from Letterkenny IT. Uh, I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to create tables in Microsoft Access, and I'm using Microsoft Access 2013. I've just opened Microsoft Access, and we want to begin with a blank data, uh, desktop database. So I'm going to click here, and we're going to give it a name. So I'm going to call this one uh, Pizza and I'm going to click on create. Now at this point you could specify where you're actually going to save it and it's quite a good idea so maybe I'll just do that now. I'm going to click in here okay and it's in my documents at the moment uh, and maybe I'll just create a new folder in there and call it uh, data and again checking up here it's in that correct folder it's called pizza that's fine and click on OK and create. Okay, automatically when you open up a new uh, uh, database in Microsoft Access, it creates a table for you. And at the moment, the table is called table one. The first thing I'm going to do is create the structure of the table. So I have to click up here onto the set square up in the top left hand corner. This is a button you're going to be using a lot uh, in Microsoft Access. So here we're changing the view. This is uh, where we're changing the view. So I'm going to click on the set square. It asks me now at the moment the table is called table one. I'm going to change the name of the table to pizza details. And I'm going to say table, pizza details table, and click on OK. And you can see up here, it's now called the pizza details table. OK, the first thing uh, we're going to do is we're going to put in the pizza type. OK, and you'll notice that there's a key against it. Uh, the primary key is the uh, field that will uniquely identify any particular uh, record in a, in a table. Um, and in this case, we're going to have pizza type. OK, um, and you'll know it's the primary key because there's a little yellow key here. And you can switch on and switch off the primary key by clicking on this button here where it says primary key. OK, now at the moment, uh, the pizza type is set to be an auto number, and that's actually in this case not what we're going to use. We're going to use uh, short text. OK, and when you have uh, the field selected up the top, down the bottom are the details for the pizza type uh, field. OK, and we'll just leave all the defaults there. That's fine. So pizza type, uh, pizza cost. Now. Uh, pizza cost is going to be currency and we'll set that to currency and in here we'll have uh, pizza details okay and again the type will go to short text that's fine okay so again um, <coughs> short text is for this one currency you can see it's currency down here, it's currency up here. It all relates to pizza cost. And when we click on pizza type, it's short text up to 255 characters and the rest of those uh, are fine. So we have the structure of our table now and we're happy with that. We're now ready to actually put in the details in the um, table. So again, this button up here, it has changed look, but this is the view button, okay? So in here, we're going to go to data sheet view. So we'll click on data sheet sheet view. It tells us we need to save the table first. That's fine. So we click on yes. OK, so now we're going to put in uh, the pizza type. And in here, we're going to have our first one will be ham. Uh, the cost of this one is uh, 850. And the pizza details will be um, ham and cheese. OK, now I can't, couldn't actually see the full of that, so I might want to just stretch that out. So that's grand ham and cheese, I can see. So I just put my mouse on that line there and it turns into a straight up line with an arrow on either side. Then I click and drag to drag it out. OK, so the next thing in here, um, we'll have pesto. OK, and the cost of that one is 790. OK, and in here, pesto. OK, 
Um, at any point, if you want to, you can add in an extra field. So let's just save what I have up here at the moment. And I can go back into design view and maybe I could add another field and suitable for veg vegetarians. And in here, we just want it to be yes or no. It either is or it isn't. So in here, we choose yes, no. That's fine. So we click on save. Now, to see how that looks, we go back over again, this button over here. We move back into data sheet view. And I don't think the ham one is suitable for vegetarians, but I think the pesto one should be fine. So we will click a tick on that. And then you can carry on putting in the rest of the details. OK, that's the end of this first uh, video.